Deep beneath the shimmering waves, a mysterious community thrives. They are elusive beings, dwelling in the water, hidden from prying eyes. Their existence remains a captivating enigma, puzzling scientists and enchanting curious minds. From the depths of the ocean to the tranquil rivers, these extraordinary creatures make their home in liquid realms, evading our understanding. Their lives are veiled in secrecy, their very presence an unsolved riddle. As we dive into the depths, we embark on an extraordinary quest to unveil the secrets of those who call the water their home. Subscribe to our channel and let's go! Samabajeo Tribe The Samabajeo Tribe is also known as the Sea Gypsy. These people live their lives on the high seas, quite literally, and lead a life that is so extraordinary, you will feel like you're living in a different world. While most of us are happy living on land and occasionally swimming in the ocean, the Bajeo people spend their entire lives on boats, moving from one place to another, facing the challenging waves of the open sea in their quest for fish and other sea treasures. They are like the real-life Aquaman, but don't be deceived by their nomadic lifestyle, because these sea gypsies are some of the finest sailors in the world. They effortlessly navigate the fierce waves, adapting to the maritime environment like skilled oceanic acrobats. Let's not forget about their exceptional diving skills. They can hold their breath longer than the average person, diving to depths of over 30 meters to hunt for pelagic fish, pearls, and sea cucumbers, considered a delicacy within the tribe. Curious how they become such proficient divers? Well, they intentionally rupture their eardrums at a young age, resulting in bleeding from their ears and nose. They endure a week of dizziness, lying down, just to experience painless diving. Talk about dedication to their craft. But here's the remarkable part. The Bajeo people aren't recognized as citizens of any country. They form a floating state of their own, navigating the waters and constantly searching for a place they can call home. Despite hailing from the Sulu Archipelago, which is technically part of the Philippines, they aren't acknowledged as Filipino citizens by the government. And it's not just the Philippines, Malaysia, Brunei, and Indonesia also refuse to recognize the Bajeo people. They truly are lost at sea. If that isn't fascinating enough, let's dive into the folklore surrounding the Bajo tribe. Legend has it that there's even a Bajeo boy who fell asleep in the water because he was having so much fun diving. Now, that's an incredible dedication to sea life. So, if you ever find yourself adrift in the ocean, remember the Bajeo and their remarkable ability to create a home on the water, even if the rest of the world struggles to determine where they belong. The Forgotten Vanuatu Tribes Deep in the South Pacific Ocean lies a collection of islands that harbor some of the most isolated and primitive bush tribes in the world. This unique corner of our planet remains one of the rare places where these tribes continue to live as they have for centuries. Unaffected by Western influences, the hidden tribes of Vanuatu possess a culture that is remarkably pure and untamed. The beliefs held by the Vanuatu tribes are rooted in black magic and animism, a belief system that recognizes the living essence within all things. Witnessing an entire culture untouched by the changes of the modern world is a surreal experience, captivating the fascination and inspiration of scientists and researchers who have discovered them. Many scholars speculate that the reason the Vanuatu people have remained isolated is due to their attachment to land ownership and their reluctance to leave their homeland. However, the most probable explanation for their unbroken seclusion from the outside world lies in their geographically imprisoning environment. The islands they inhabit are characterized by steep mountainous forests and swiftly flowing waterways, often impassable and challenging to navigate. The Man Who Never Eats Meet Prahlad Yani, an Indian holy man who has become a medical enigma, leaving scientists perplexed for years. The mystery surrounding this seemingly immortal man only deepens with time. Yani claims to have roamed the forests of India for a staggering 70 years without consuming a single morsel of food or a drop of water. Naturally, such a claim sounds impossible, right? Well, scientists have taken it upon themselves to closely monitor Yanni, subjecting him to weeks of constant observation in a hospital facility. 
Astonishingly, even under this scrutiny, the man continues to abstain from any form of sustenance, and yet he appears perfectly normal. Intrigued by this anomaly, doctors decide to conduct MRI scans on Yanni's brain, and what they discover is mind-boggling. The scans reveal that despite his age, Yanni's brain exhibits the condition of a 25-year-old by all standards. Could it be possible that this man has unlocked the secrets of survival without the need for food or drink? Prahlad Yanni insists that his extraordinary gift was bestowed upon him by a Hindu goddess who granted him the ability to sustain himself. Leading scientists are now dedicating their efforts to studying Yanni intensely as they believe his exceptional abilities might hold the key to significant breakthroughs, perhaps even advancing our capabilities in space travel. The story of Prahlad Yanni challenges the boundaries of what we believe to be humanly possible, captivating the attention of researchers and igniting hopes for remarkable scientific advancements. Dragon Lady Have you ever heard of the Dragon Lady? Her life is truly exceptional and stands out as one of the most unique lifestyles on the planet. Meet Tiamat Medusa, who was assigned male at birth but later transitioned to being a woman. It was during this journey that she discovered her true passion. Tiamat has dedicated over $70,000 to undergo extensive cosmetic procedures, all with the goal of transforming herself into a real-life dragon. Her transformation includes having eight horns implanted on her head, a severed tongue, and undergoing full-body tattoos. Not stopping there, Tiamat even had her ears removed to emulate the appearance of a serpent, as snakes don't possess ears. She even had her nostrils adjusted to resemble a snake's nose instead of a human's. Tiamat views body modification as the ultimate form of self-expression and believes she has finally found her identity within another species after feeling lost for most of her life. We cannot help but admire the dedication and endurance it must have taken for Tiamat to reach this level of transformation. She remains determined to complete her dragon-like appearance, pushing the boundaries of self-expression. Tiamat's journey is a testament to the power of personal identity and the lengths one can go to manifest their true self. The Acero Tribe Among the thousands of tribes in Papua New Guinea, the Mud Men are one of the most recognized. It's easy to identify the Acero people as their bodies are covered in clay patterns and they wear large, eerie clay masks. According to legends, the Acero Tribe was defeated by an enemy tribe and forced to escape into the Acero River. They waited until dusk to make their move. When the enemy saw them emerge from the muddy banks, covered in mud, they mistook them for spirits and fled in fear. This allowed the defeated tribe to return to their village. The Acero people decided to use this appearance to scare their enemies, but they couldn't cover their faces with the mud because they believed it was poisonous. So, they created special masks that resembled spirits to disguise themselves. These masks were quite scary and looked strange, aligning with the Papuan idea of spirit's appearance. Today, the capital of the Acero tribe is a small town called Garoka. We hope you enjoy today's video. Please make use of the like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the bell notification icon so we can keep in touch. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.